I, I just I was I'm worried that I'm gonna like freeze or something that's all just be you okay I'll try <laughs> Okay. And we can give it a try in five, four, three, two. Lila King, you've been nominated for an Excellence in Education Award, and I want to read to you part of the nomination letter. Lila has taught for over 20 years and continues to demonstrate the same passion for teaching every single day. She makes her students feel important and she finds unique ways to honor their individual strengths. Lila serves on several committees. She's a union president and chairs the parent teacher organization. I have seen her spend her own money on shoes or supplies for students who can't afford it and tutor students without even thinking about being compensated for it. If anyone deserves to be recognized <laughs> for an Excellence in Education Award, it should be Lila King. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do what you do? Why do I do what I do? I, you know, I've always loved being around kids. I mean, ever since I was little, I, my mom and I were having this conversation about how career paths, choosing career paths and changing. And, and like she said, you never wavered. You've just always wanted to work with students. I wasn't quite sure what capacity at the moment. It took me a little time, but once I had my first experience with the classroom and kids, I knew that just what I wanted to do, I wanted to be able to be that person that taught them and let them see the light and when they learn and what's so. that like when you see the light in a child <laughs> for any teacher that's great because as you know you know education is kind of challenging right now it's not an easy field for anybody and but I couldn't see myself doing anything other than teaching I, I really can't I I have been asked to you know take it further you know try to take a different leadership position I, you know I am a lead teacher in my building so when their superintendent administrators are gone, I step in. I go to the principal's meeting. I do all of that, but I never wanted to actually be in that position for good. I have, I, I see myself always in that classroom because of that, like watching these kids, when you've taught something and they finally have figured it out on their own and can actually move forward, it's just a good feeling for any teacher, I think. Tell me what, uh, let's fast forward five years from okay. today. Um, what do you want the kids that you're working with right now to remember about being in your classroom? I want them to remember that I always believed in them that they could achieve whatever they wanted to achieve. My biggest thing is when school, even before school begins, I live in a small rural community where they're, everybody knows everybody. We're closely knit, We've, we know these kids from kindergarten and everything about them, their family lives and I mean just everything. You get to know them on a personal level and I've always felt personal connections are important. You, you need to make that connection with these kids on a different level. So I, I spend my first month before school and the first month just getting to know them and wanting to figure out what they like and what they don't like. I'm not worried about whether they know their math facts at that point. I feel it's important that if you want a child to respect you and to grow, it, you have to make a connection with them well, you're on a personal a real, level. You're making a real difference. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. And, oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> very cool. All right. I think that was perfect, guys. Okay. Everything is awesome.